Hi, in this video I'm going to show you some workarounds for the missing running tally feature for the Windows calculator. So, I don't know if you remember in the past, so you'd open up the standard Windows calculator, and as you'd start adding and subtracting, it would show you the running tally across the top here of what you're doing, so you could keep track of you know, the numbers in case you, you know, you make sure you're not missing something. But for some reason that's gone and just shows the total as you go along here. So one thing you could do, you know, some people say you could drag this open here and see the history, but that just kind of breaks it down into separate calculations, so that doesn't really work for me. So one thing you could do with the Windows calculator is to switch it to the scientific calculator. And that we could kind of still see what's going on across the top here. So that's one way to get around it. Just make sure uh, I noticed if you do a certain mode, it'll kind of group it into like functions, like it'll group, you know, 8 minus 6 times 9, put that in parentheses, and then multiply that by 5. So if you see that, just kind of make sure you're in the right mode here. So that's one way you could do it. But if you don't like to see all this extra stuff on the scientific calculator, you could actually run the Windows 7 calculator in Windows 10 or 11. You just need to get the files from a Windows 7 computer. So to do that, you need to go to the System32 file folder within Windows and then find the Calc EXE. And then also you need to find this EN-US. That's assuming you're using English, US. Otherwise, you have to find your country language and take that folder. And then within that folder, there's this Calc EXE MUI file. So you just need to do take this file from that folder, but you have to have it in this folder. It can't be outside of this folder along with the Calc EXE, otherwise it won't work. And then once you have these two items here, which I'll actually I'll zip these up and I'll put them in the description so you don't have to go trying to find a Windows 7 computer to get them. And then so you just put them wherever and then you can run the Calc EXE and then you have your old Windows calculator back and you could you know, use it just like that. But one thing I've noticed is Unless it's just, you know, my computer, you can't move it around here. <laughs> For some reason, you can't drag it. So that's kind of a problem, too. So wherever it pops up, that's where it is. But you still have your other options here, too, for scientific and so on. So that's one option. And another option is to use this MoffSoft free calculator that you could download and install. So I'll actually I'll put the uh, setup file in there as well so you don't have to go find the uh, website for it. I'll put it with these files here in the, uh, in the description so you can download all three of these here. And so once you install it, you've got your calculator here, and then it has kind of a, a, a tape here, kind of like if it was a physical calculator. And then you could do that type of thing. And it just kind of shows you your tally as you run along here. It's a little confusing because it doesn't show up until you click on the next function. And then you, you, you could clear the tape if you want to start over. And it has other options like, you know, if you want to type 6 and then just make 6,000 out of it without having to type all the zeros. Or, you know, 600. Um, percentage square root. That type of thing. And then also what you could do, you could have... a if you go to options and put it on tray icon, it'll put it down here, so it's always available down here for you. And you can, of course, you know, run it on startup, change the color, and that kind of thing. And, you know, save your work and so on. So, it's not a bad solution either. So, yeah, I'll put that in these three files in there, and you could try out the Windows 7 calculator or try this out, this MoffSoft, MoffSoft free calculator, or use the scientific mode in the default Windows calculator, and hopefully one of those three methods will get you what you need. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.